Hey the Pan friends, welcome to the channel again. Like always, you know me, it's your host Amy from Panventure, and welcome to a new Fun the Pan overview. It's overwhelming. It's April the 1st, so it's not a joke. It's our second overview for our second Panventure exclusive project of 2022. I promise you six projects. This is project number two. So we are on track. A very beautiful first ever project with Montegrappa. Let's see it. What can I say? I'm proud. I stand here in front of you with our second exclusive project of 2022. Big, big thank you goes out to everyone at Monte Grappa and Giuseppe Aquila, the CEO, which the last time that we've seen each other, to be honest, I did um, went there and look after some of the models of Monte Grappa. And I choose the model that's here today as a pen venture exclusive fountain pen from Monte Grappa. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna showcase every single detail of this fountain pen. I'm gonna tell you the story of how this fountain pen was chosen, some of the details that I was very specific to have it on this exclusive pen of ours. Then I'm gonna show you how the fountain pen looks, how it sits in regards of proportions, dimensions. Then we will have a writing sample. And in the end, I'm gonna share some of my opinions and we are going to end the video. Let's properly introduce the star of our overview. The Monte Grappa Zero Crystal Cola Pen Venture Exclusive Fountain Pen. It's right here. I want to tell you the story of this fountain pen and how it came to be. Everything that you will see in this box right here, it's the customer experience. This is what you get when you order a Monte Grappa Zero Pen Venture Exclusive. I'm going to open the box like so. It's a clamshell box inside. This is the fountain pen resting. Under it, you will find the warranty guide and information about Monte Grappa. Here you have a polishing cloth for the trim elements of the fountain pen. And here you will have the standard Monte Grappa ink cartridge in black, I believe. This is what you get when you order this fountain pen from Penventure. The story behind this fountain pen uh, started when I visited Monte Grappa uh, last year and I did spoken with Giuseppe Aquila, the CEO of Monte Grappa, to explore the possibility of making an exclusive fountain band with Monte Grappa, the Zero, because I believe this more contemporary shape is not that well known, but I wanted to introduce my audience and uh, all of the pen venture supporters and uh, my audience to this amazing model from Monte Grappa. It is very, very streamlined. It's not too big. I do believe it has a lot of good points and features, and this is why I opted to have this as a base model for my exclusive fountain pen. I did some tweaks, minor changes here and there, and we will explore them once we get into the details. It is made from Monte Grappit. So this uh, resin, it's proprietary to Monte Grappa. It is sourced from a supplier that's locally near Monte Grappa. It's a very beautiful resin in regards of uh, the colors that this resin can be produced in. One very important aspect regarding this um, resin, it's the fact that this resin is pretty eco-friendly because it can be melted down and poured again. And this is something that is amazing. Montegrappa told me that even the scraps from this material can be taken out and remelted into a new batch, making a new color. So the color that I've picked for our exclusive is the Crystal Cola. And the reason behind is that sometime, I believe one, one plus year ago, I did sold for a customer a Mia Crystal Cola and the color stood with me. And ever since I've seen that, I want to have it. Since it's spring and uh, the season, it's about green and rebirth and a new beginning, I've chose this amazing color. It is a minty green that features uh, this line and pattern with white and darker green. And uh, to be honest, I love this color a lot. Moving further, let's go into the details. I'm gonna try to explain what 
is specific to our exclusive pen and then we will go into a side-by-side -side size comparison writing sample and in the end i will conclude everything in the, some of my personal thoughts regarding this fountain pen and we're going to end the video i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to start with the finial right here the finial features this inlay of the monte grappa logo and it's behind glass and the uh, cap finial is flat and this is very very nice because the logo of Monte Grappa it almost hovers inside there and you can see in the background the beautiful beautiful green uh, Monte Grappit resin the crown finial to say so features a small laser engraved pen venture logo the location of our small laser engraved logo it's not random because it sits in between the Monte Grappa writing on the clip and the logo of Monte Grappa. So we are kind of surrounded by Monte Grappa to say so. And uh, I'm very fortunate and proud to say uh, this sentence that we are helped and uh, covered. It, it's amazing. I love the Monte Grappa team and uh, all of our uh, collaboration with them is very smooth. Let's get to the clip because I was very specific regarding the finish of this clip and all of the trims that this fountain pen is featuring because I wanted to have that look of brushed stainless steel or brushed aluminum because this surface that you see right here will stand a lot better in regards of use and daily use uh, versus a very shiny material. I love to carry my fountain pens and I believe most of you that are watching right now do the same. I wanted to have something very practical and very easy and since the Monte Grappit resin it's very very resilient and you can daily carry this fountain pen it is scratch resistant it allows the user to have basically a very good workhorse fountain pen the trims of this pen should be pointed in the same direction the clip is very square ish it has this logo of monte grappa etched on uh, the surface we have a small wheel the clip is quite springy and allows to be clipped very very easy with the help of this small wheel the crown features the same brushed uh, stainless steel or aluminum look the shape of the cap follows the overall design of the monte grappa zero and it's straight we don't have any tapering in or out and it's pretty streamlined opposite to the clip we have made in Italy engraved this makes me very proud because I know this founder pants are made in Italy with pride with passion and a lot of heritage and history and this is why I love to have made in Italy on a Monte Grappa fountain pen etched as a visual marker for all that love and passion that went into creating this writing instruments now let's uncap the fountain pen this is a screw cap so we have one complete turn a little of two in order to uncap the fountain pen and we are greeted by the nib not only that we opted to have a very great platform for everyday carry fountain pen but we opted to have two types of nibs as well so we have steel nibs on this fountain pen we have a steel nib and we have 14 karat gold nibs i wanted to have more accessible pricings for the exclusive projects that we have in work this year although there are many beautiful writing instruments that are very very highly priced i wanted to have something that can reflect a founder band that is intended to be used everywhere in every situation and the pricing allows it to be more available for everyone and this is why i opted to have from this collection steel nibs as well with gold nibs monte grappa stamped on the nib italy it's available in extra fine fine medium broad and a 1.1 millimeter stub abs plastic feed and i have right here the gold nib as well they are quite similar and they look very very nice and the same stamping we find on the gold nib as well monte grappa 14 karat 585 and the sizes are the same extra fine fine medium broad and a stop moving further we have also the section which uh, features this ring right here that's made in the same 
aspect like all of the trims of this fountain pen in this brushed aluminum look the section is made out of uh, monte grappit it's a quite comfortable section it's not too big in regards of diameter i've tested this fountain pen for the past few weeks it is comfortable for me and i believe for most of you the diameter of this section is very comfortable the shape is nothing alterated by any proportions it's not flaring in or out it is staying pretty pretty straight and streamlined then we have the treads of the capping system and those treads are quite big and visual they don't feature any sharp edges nothing whatsoever the barrel has a slight slight downwards trend starting from the thickest point right here but i don't believe this thickest point is much more larger than one or two millimeters from uh, the end of the barrels we don't have any uh, changes in regards of diameter we can see the beautiful color of the monte Grappit resin with this stripes with this white right here on top we have the limited edition number this is a limited edition of only 30 fountain pens of which the fountain pens starting from 01 to 010 they are made in gold 14 karat nibs anything above that from 11 to 30 it's made out with steel nibs. This is the overall idea to have a fountain pen which is practical, easy, accessible, 20 fountain pens in steel nibs, 10 fountain pens in gold nibs for those that are looking forward to have a gold nib on their Penventure exclusive Monte Grappa Zero. Number 0030, it's the Company Museum fountain pen, my personal fountain pen because I do love to keep every single pen that I design in the company museum and maybe one day they will be displayed somewhere in a larger number than it is today and I'm pretty sure of that. If everything is well and everyone gets there in good health, we will enjoy a lot of exclusive fountain pens. Now let me show you the filling system and since this fountain pen was designed with one thought in my mind, to be a great workhorse fountain pen, to be very easy to carry this fountain pen with you, I designed it with a very simple yet effective filling system, converter. And I have it right here. You can use this fountain pen with the screw in cartridge converter, which Monte Grappa delivers with every fountain pen, or you can use standard international cartridges. For me, this is a very quick and easy option in order to swap inks very quickly, very easy to wash this fountain pen, quickly, easy, available with both types of uh, inks, bottled ink, or cartridges of ink. And in regards of details, that's pretty much what I have for you. A very interesting Zero Monte Grappa, which I opted to have as an exclusive fountain pen for Pen Venture made in the crystal color material, which is uh, by far one of my favorite colors, this minty green. And I know we always do red, purple fountain pens. This time it's a minty green. We change it. Now let's put this fountain pen side by side with other fountain pens in order to have an overall understanding of the size and proportions. This is how it sits next to a Leonardo Momento Magico. This is how it sits next to a 1930 Extra, one very popular model from Monte Grappa. And this is how it sits next to a Bronze Age Homo Sapiens. At a closer look, you can pretty much see that the Monte Grappa Zero sits very well in between oversized fountain pens. It is not that long. It is shorter than a 1930 Extra in regards of uh, length, the same with the Homo Sapiens, but it's a few millimeters uh, thinner in regards of diameter. And this makes this fountain pen quite practical and easy to wield. In regards of dimensions, cap the fountain pen measures 142 millimeters and the total weight of the fountain pen kept like so it is 34 grams. Uncapped, the fountain pen sits in between a 1930 Extra and a Momento Magico, so it is a little bit longer than a 1930 Extra and a little bit shorter than a Momento Magico. The overall dimensions of the fountain pen uncapped is 130 millimeters and the total weight of the fountain pen uncapped is 21 grams. Most of you know that I usually don't post my fountain pens. Rarely, rarely do I post fountain pens. But the ones that I post are the ones that are not that weighty or not that long. When posting the Zero 
uh, the balance of this founder pen shifts not uh, severely to the back of it, but I do think that this founder pen is postable and I do recommend to have it posted. And overall, this is how I would use it. Now let's go into the writing sample and I'm gonna use both nibs because uh, both of them arrived uh, writing very, very nicely and consistent out of the box. And let's see this fountain pen. I've inked it up with Diamine Eau du Nil. And uh, my French is not that good, so bear with me. Let's find a fresh page and let's give it a try because I can't wait to show you. Pen. And we have the Monte Grappa. Zero Pen Venture Exclusive. Then we have the ink Diamine Eu Du Nil. The nib is steel medium sort of lack medium nibs in uh, my uh, collection i always have extra fines and fine points and very few stops and double broad so medium let's go with medium and let me showcase the flow so actually this is how it came out of the box i haven't tinkered with this nib at all so we have a uh, let's just say double pass and i would say from a scale from one to ten in regards of flow 10 being a fire hose this is i believe a seven in between eight so if you want more i would need to open the tines a little bit more but in my opinion it is plenty to offer a rich and consistent ink flow moving further let's hello with some normal figure of eight it is quite a true medium. I wouldn't find this uh, in a Japanese medium that is closer to a fine. So this is quite a true medium nib. And now let's go with some flax. These nibs are quite stiff. And if we apply some pressure, although we don't have gigantic line variation, we have a little bit of line variation, but mostly that is given by the ink that's pooling and the increase of uh, the flow. And it's not given by the actual length in between the two tines. On the gold, uh, it is more obvious. And I'm gonna show you just that. I'm gonna pick this uh, gold nib pan and I'm gonna show you extra fine point. Yes, let's go with some normal. Ooh, this is so, so beautiful and smooth for an extra fine. Hmm, maybe I should have uh, picked a gold nib. What you say? And of course, being an extra fine, we have some give and some line variation, much more obvious than the steel version of this fountain pen. Now, let's use the famous sentence that everyone loves. The quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is a sublime nib, a great option for an everyday writer, the steel nib. And this is what I choose to have as a personal founder man because I intend to use it every single day or in every single scenario or situation. I want to be able to take this founder man out and put it in my bag and not care about getting it scratched or anything like this because I intended to have a great workhorse fountain pen. And I know that uh, in use, some fountain pens are quite, uh, let's just say, sensitive or uh, I do look them as being very nice fountain pens that I intend to use on the desk or at the office or in a controlled environment. And let's define control environment. 
So actually, I don't want to have this founder band out with me, a sensitive founder band when uh, I have to catch a train or when I'm running or when I'm going to the city council to sign something or at the bank or in the park or out in the nature because that sensitive founder band is very prone to let's just say if it rolls around and falls on the ground it'll probably get a notch and i wouldn't be looking at that founder band the same i designed this founder band to be very very resilient and the actual choice of materials the trims the looks of this founder band the nib it is offering just that practicality at its best for everyone who wants a gold nib with that founder band i opted to have that option available this is the overview of my Montegrappa Zero Chrysocola fountain pen. If you want to have one, go down below, you'll find the links for this fountain pen. They are available in stock at this very moment. All 30 are delivered in our inventory and ready to travel your way. I do appreciate your time spent on the Pen Venture YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for cheering up. And if you like our content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot. Explore these new models from uh, Montegrappa, the more contemporary, the Zero, in trust. And uh, if you intend to use this founder pen as a very, very uh, resilient piece of your collection, be sure that it will offer just that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing our content. Thank you for uh, the amazing uh, feedback that we had from the community. I love you all and everything that we do here is out of passion and love and uh, we want to do a better job with every single uh, new pan, with every single order and you all are amazing. If you are interested to see some of our other items, scroll down below, you'll find the links for our website, our social media accounts and also my email phone number, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with us. Some of you that are not subscribed, you can do that right now and support us. Just click there and turn the notification bell on. And as always, if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, you will have this video right here. Click and enjoy. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe. Bye bye.